Bonjour. Bonjour. <laughs> no. Time for bladder check. Check. So it's a show? It's a lifestyle. It's a religion. <laughs> My emotions! My emotions! I'm still French. Ouais, c'est pas faux. I'm a woman, Mary. I can be as contrary as I choose. Non, moi je crois qu'il faut que vous arrêtiez d'essayer de dire des trucs. Hello, hi, I'm Laura. I'm gonna watch Rick and Morty season 5, episode 3. I already watched today's episodes 1 and 2. If you want to see my reaction videos about this episode, I'm gonna put the links into the eye and remember that I binge watched with you guys all of the episodes of all of the seasons of Rick and Morty. Before that, you know, I mean, <laughs> I didn't watch the season 6 yet, for sure. If you want to see my reaction videos about them, I'm gonna put the link for the playlist about it and if you want to see my reaction videos about the season 6 that I didn't watch yet because I'm just at the episode 3 of the season 5 you can subscribe to my channel and stay with me for sometimes you know maybe I'm also reacting to other shows or even animes I'm reacting to some animes and you're gonna want to to see these reaction videos on my channel you know maybe maybe I already watched some shows and animes that you watch and maybe you're gonna want to see them again with me i don't know i made a playlist for each one you know that i react to on my channel if you want to check that it's a motorcycle like i heard it i was like hmm <laughs> okay the two first episodes of this season five that i watched today the last one i'm really like do i have to consider it you know it was the decoys episode with all of these versions of this family dying really dying i mean it's, it's not just dying it's being killed again and again and again it felt like the first episode of this season like it has been seasons now that we're beginning the first episode a member of this family is dying so really for all of the members of this family to die plenty of times it felt like the first episode of this season so yes i don't know i don't know if i have to to really consider it for me something important which happened during it it was rick saying to bess i'm sorry about clown bess so i was like okay that's nice to say it to talk about it but in fact it was not real rick how this episode ended like we don't know who is real rick and for sure we're not gonna know how all of this situation was resolved just we have to consider that it was resolved something important also the fact that space base is out there living uh, on adventure and she's gonna come back maybe sometimes into this family but she's not really a member of this family like she's gonna be out there uh, for sometimes what i'm afraid of is maybe at some point she's gonna get tired of it or maybe like rick predicted she's not gonna continue you know to think that she's doing something heroic and that she's doing the right thing like she's gonna change her mind about it and maybe she's gonna come back at that moment i said it during the intro of the two last episodes i'm afraid for this situation to not be healthy at all for all of them for the members of the family for sure because to have a relationship for each of these best, you know, it's not gonna be the same relationship. For Rick, for sure, to have two daughters, like he has already issues to have only one, so to have two of them, that's something. And these two best together, again, it has to be really weird and unhealthy to see someone who is you living the life that you don't have and that you could have that inside of you you want to have like for me it's really not healthy that situation we'll see if they are gonna do something about it or not this is, during the last episode we learned also that they are coming from colorado and i think that it was the first time that they said you know in which state they were we learned during the first episode that rick's wife is named diane and that was the first time also that they said it mr number so who was really annoying i didn't like him at all and really again his role and his past with rick it's not that clear no matter what he said that at some point rick was around another young boy who was named nick 
I think, I'm not so sure of it. It made me wonder, you know, about that picture with a baby that we saw in third person. Um, you know, Rick with a baby. I thought that it was Morty because of the yellow shirt, but in fact, maybe not. I really don't know. But yes, these two first episodes, we had adventures and I had some fun. You saw me, I lost. But I'm not sure that we really did stuff during this episode, like that we're progressing for any of these characters. Morty is growing up for sure, he's getting taller. He had something important, you know, with Jessica who kissed him, but after that said that they're gonna stay friends because she became <laughs> a time goddess. So at least for Morty, something important happened. For Jerry and Bess, they had a threesome and they're having fun. They have a nursery relationship, maybe. If they were okay with that situation, really, both of them, okay. But yes, except for that, um, we're not evolving that much right there during these two first episodes. Okay, I think that I'm gonna stop right there this intro, you know, I don't have a lot more to say about these two episodes. We'll see what is gonna happen. Maybe I can say my wishes, you know, for this new season, for each character. I want to know more about Rick's past. I want the situation with the best to be resolved, because really I have the impression that it's gonna be unhealthy. Or at least I want to talk about it. I want for Jerry to evolve, really. I want for Summer to have an episode only for her. You know, we had, during the last season, we had one episode or one main narrative arc of an episode only for Beth or only for Jerry at some point. So I think that Summer, she deserves that, to have an episode like that only for her or at least one main narrative arc only for her. I want for Morty to meet Evil Morty, to have something about it. Okay, let's stop this intro. Remember that if you want to have my Patreon, it's a good way to have advantages, you know, my Patreon, episodes of advance on each shows that I watch, extended or full action part for each episode. I put some full action part for Rick and Morty and I'm not forced to cut that much for the extended reaction part. It's the best way to support me. I said it since sometimes now. I'm shadow banned again on YouTube and I'm blaming a little, you know, Rick and Morty because I said it earlier. For each new episode, I'm still trying to upload the normal reaction video of it, which means without playing with opacity and stuff like that. Respecting the failure source still, but it's not working. But to have, you know, videos getting blocked like that again and again, at some point YouTube is, uh, is tired of it and is shadow banning me for some weeks. It happened for other shows, but right there I think that it's mostly because of Rick and Martin that I have that right now on my channel that I'm shadow banned and I can see it really easily with the views and also with some of you who already subscribed to my channel but who don't know that I planned, you know, I published new videos. You have to, to be sure, you know, to activate the notifications if really you want to, to be sure to, to know about it. If it's not working, it's not my fault. It's really YouTube who, we, who is punishing me for some weeks. And also that's why I'm saying it, you know, about Patreon. If you were hesitating about subscribing or not to my Patreon, you can have advantages, you can support me and you can help me also during these weird times with YouTube and no, know it that I'm someone really honest with that like I did it already you know at multiple occasions I'm telling you when I'm shadow bound but I'm also telling you when I'm not shadow bound because I'm also seeing when things are getting normal again and I'm seeing it in one or two videos to one people that's it it's okay again for you people if really you were there only to help me during that weird period I'm gonna say it also when stuff are gonna get better, at least for that. <laughs> okay, let's go for this episode. My acid rain will destroy all things green and natural, or my name is a diesel diesel. You look cool! Your acid rain is an acid pain in the butt, diesel weasel. What? She's making rhymes. I'm confused. It looks like a commercial. 
Oh jeez, Martin, you're supposed to say oh jeez. There's only one But your eyes, you know, he had crazy eyes. Oh, 
He's gonna show me the wonders of the universe. <gasps> Once we get to the next planet, Grandpa Rick is gonna ditch you. So I think so. The only chick seeing the universe with Rick is me. Not if I keep Rick's mouth full Yo, of Oh my, oh my god. Oh yeah, that's right, girlfriend. You this have balls? Brewing kings, inspired presidents, a hundred songs in nine national anthems. I'm confused. It's genitals if it's uh, done like that. But which ones? Best in the galaxy. You want me to put them away? Please. Sure. <laughs> Finally free, all because of Morty. What a romantic story about our son killing a room full of people. Yes. Not the first time that he's killing someone. He's still 14? He's crying now? You're a very mature, also not young woman. It's false. But you're already acting like a fucking teenager. Escalating a little more. All of you, get out of there! You're killing the planet! Your people didn't get the votes. They're doing their jobs. Don't fight them. Do you see what you're doing? Easy for you to say. You can live how you want. We need the jobs. Let's go, boy. We'll get them next time. There's no time left! Can't you hear the earth screaming? Tina, stop it! There's only one solution! One solution! To kill all human beings? In love. It's not even real love. No, so no, no, don't do that. Don't participate to that orgy, please. You already made one with a dragon. Congratulations, Markesians. Your apocalypse is aborted. And Grandpa, you and I can go home. Daphne, you may come with me. He really stepped with his dad. And he's gonna have to live with that. No! Sorry, I messed things up with Daphne. Shut up and get into it. No, you were right. I have to admit, it was pretty rick of you to avert an apocalypse and a tantrum of cynicism just to destroy one dumb relationship. Eh, I would have done the same for you. Promise? Love you, Grandpa Rick. <laughs> Please go. I, I can't see you anymore. Don't you even want to try to make it worse? You murdered 300 people. And you murdered my kid. Eddie was trying to kill me. The, those buyers were innocent. Your scale also of responsibility is broken, but that's another that's the only story. Way. I, I don't want to be saved. Please go. I love you. I, I, I can't. I, I can't love you. I, I just can't. I'll go. But don't you dare ask me to understand. What you? Fuck you. Fuck you. And please, someone needs to step up. I'm not sure of our next actions. Morty, are you alright? She's gone, Mom! She's gone! I loved her so much! Oh, first love and first breakup! He's crying, man! Good morning! Good morning! Mom and Dad? Mom's not talking to us. Because we had sex? Yes. <sighs> Do we need to talk about it? We don't need to talk about it. I'm not gonna talk about it. About that post credit scene. E Monty is growing up. I'm seeing it since season two that the boy is evolving. Like we had a period of time, he was so impulsive. He had also 
some moves, you know, against Rick, he was giving up on Rick, he was leaving Rick behind, he didn't care about him at all, like we had these two situations with Morty killing Rick, uh, willingly, not willingly, like yeah. I was afraid of that, but for me it was also showing, I mean the writers showing that Morty was growing up, was evolving, you know, into his mind and all, and since the season 4, oh, I'm sorry, that was... That's a big bug. I'm sorry, it was outside. I was saying, since last season, I'm seeing also that we have Morty getting taller also. They are making it obvious, you know, with the drinks that he's getting taller. So that was an evolution, you know, for his appearance. We had already evolutions, you know, into his mind and all. I'm glad that right there we have an episode with him falling in love and at the end being the one to dump his girlfriend and still having that first breakup and he had his first time also like a lot of first time into this episode for Morty but it's also Morty growing up, having new experiences and things like that it's cool with that woman, I'm not sure that it's really cool like again, if you have to consider the ages of these kids even if they were not really her kids, I mean, they created her, she didn't create them. Mm -hmm. yeah. Just to consider their ages, it means that she was on Earth since that long, so it means that clearly that woman was way too old for you, Morty. You had your first time with a Mioff. You had your first love thing with a Mioff. Uh, okay, okay, okay and your first breakup. I'm glad for Bess, you know, the fact that she intervened like that to to tell to Morty, be careful with that situation. Even if you know what happened right there, like Morty not listening, Morty getting out, Morty flying away with that superhero and all, that was bad, but it represents also the teenagers who are not listening to their parents, who are doing whatever they want and because of that they are committing mistakes because they should have listened to their parents but no matter what at the end when you see that you made a mistake your parents are going to be there for you because they love you and they are going to be there to reassure you to help you with your little tears so that was a good episode for Marty for his relationship with Bess also that was pretty cool that character you know Pal Planetina? Palentina? I don't know that character, I loved, you know, what she represented, all of that thing about saving Earth, what you can do to save Earth, and really she, she went from the little thing to the big things, and really, you know, at first it was just facing disaster, environmental disaster, and at the end committing murders, and she didn't have, you know, a good scale of responsibilities, Everyone is responsible, everyone can help, everyone can do something good and also everyone can do bad stuff for, for the cause, if I can say it like that. But you know, the scale of responsibility is still important to know, to understand and in particular when you have superpowers and you can kill people just like that. <laughs> she has to work on that, I think. Maybe she's gonna learn that with this breakup. It would be great. <laughs> But yes, I appreciate it to have a character like that for the writers of this show to talk about that subject, about recycling also and all of that. And to talk also about the extremes that you can do for the cause and in fact it's against the cause. I think that it's great to talk about it. I'm someone who is engaged into that particular subject, just if you are wondering why I'm talking about it like that. I mean, into my personal life, not politically or anything like that, but into my personal life, like with stuff that I buy and that I don't buy and stuff like that, I'm really thinking about it twice and I have a lot of things in place, you know, uh, all of that. So that's why I think that it's great to have that subject into a show like Rick and Morty. But how she was talking, you know, like with rhymes, with the music each time and all, that was really a commercial each time. With the fact that she had kids who were 
agents and stuff like that, it can be explained, but all of the situation with the TV show and all, <laughs> it felt weird, it felt off, you know. On purpose, clearly on purpose, but because of that, I had trouble since the beginning of the episode to just care about the girl, to be maybe on her side and on the side of that new love between Marty and her. Because of the fact that I couldn't go with that character because of these reasons, like because it didn't appear real. Mm. Yes, it was like that. <laughs> the four element better was cool. Marty, you felt well, you understood everything just like that, how to use the rings. His eyes during these moments remembered me some episodes of the season 2 and 3. You know, when he was losing it and he was going crazy, doing weird stuff like the Purge episode or stuff like that. You still have that into you, Marty. But in a way, it's logical, we have to remember that. We have an evil Morty somewhere, like Mortis can go like that also, can go evil. Mm. That was a cool episode, I appreciated it, clearly. And you know that session I've been watching, these three episodes, like they were great, but I wouldn't put them like that. Like really for me, the episode 2 was an episode 1, the episode 1 was maybe an episode 2, and this one, yes, that's more a regular episode that we can expect into Rick and Morty. Even if something big and important happened during it, I mean Morty uh, having all of these first experiences with love. Falling in love, having his first... his first time! And also having his first breakup. Cool, really cool. Okay, so it's all for you and for me. Yes, I'm doing that. Just wait a minute. Ooh, did you hear that? <laughs> It's all for you and for me for this video and for today. So it's all for me for now. So bye for now. Bye. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, Doc. Uh, are you telling me that you built a time machine? Crazy.